My name is Teresa, and I'm a retired state worker. I've been married to my husband Earl for 53 years, and we have six children together. My name is Earl, and I'm Teresa's husband. The earlier years, she, she was neat, and that was in California. Of course, they didn't have a whole lot then, but what we had was, it was always kept up. My name is Sharon, and I'm Teresa's daughter. When we grew up, all of us kids would have to clean on a periodic basis. So our house was basically spotless growing up. She decided, well, California is not for me. I need to be with, with my family and my mother and sisters and brothers. I said, okay. She lost her mother. She lost her grandson, which was my nephew. He was three. And she also lost her sister in a short time frame. Every time I got sad, I just go buy me a new dress and shoes and purse. You get everything you want. <laughs> OK, thank you. I got where I'd go to the thrift store twice a day. I said I wasn't going to buy nothing. Man, my husband's going to kill me if I buy anything, but I'm going to buy it. It's real small. He would never know I bought it. I would call my husband, tell him I need some money. And he would send me 5000 here, 5000 there. And as soon as that money hit the bank, I'd go shopping. Okay, so we're up to 12. I just had feelings that things wasn't great. But I just also had a feeling that, well, they'll work it, work themselves out, but it didn't. It's really hard to believe that I went through $112,000 in less than a year and a half. Oh, I was I angry? Yeah, I was definitely angry. But it was too late. There ain't nothing I could do about that. Some of the things that she's got is worth money, big money. I knew anything financially I could get out of it probably would be helpful, but uh, I don't think she would be more willing to get rid of anything anyway. Oh, my goodness. Let me see where I can hide it. I'll put it right under here. And he won't know it until he cleans up the car. My name is Rosalind, and I'm Teresa's oldest daughter. My dad has worked two jobs most of his life to take care of six kids and mom. He may not show all the pain around us, but there's pain, a lot of pain. I kind of feel pretty hopeless because it's just a no-win situation anymore. He doesn't know what to do with me. I don't know what to do with me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're here. I'm Darnita L. Payton. I'm a life management specialist, and I work with people with chronic disorganization and clutter. Today's a little different in that the items that Teresa has, we're going to try and save as many as possible that she can sell at consignment. So there may not be as much trash as we're used to having. Having viewed the home, I could safely say that Teresa has about 3,000 purses and shoes to match almost each purse. These are her things. She gets the final say-so on what stays and what goes. Okay, okay. Teresa's hoard is more about her things giving her a sense of belonging because for so long they've served the purpose of keeping her company when her husband was away and when the children had all left and it was just her and her things. All right, is everyone ready to get started? Ready. All right, ready. Let's go. 
I don't want them. Okay. Like these, I don't want them. I don't okay. care. Let this, it go. Okay. So I can honestly throw away everything that's in here. Yeah. Throw it away. Okay. Yeah, I got a skirt to this, but that's all right. I don't need it. I got enough of clothes to last me forever. Okay, we are making progress here. Yeah, we can make a lot of progress. I'm Dr. Suzanne Chabot, and I am a specialist in OCD and hoarding. How's right. things going for you? Oh, it's fine, fine, fine. You okay? Yeah. Why would you throw a perfectly good roasting pan away? That's all right. What's going on, Teresa? Some of the stuff that they threw away, they should not have thrown away. Uh-huh. That typically happens, but you wanted to, you wanted to see it. So you want to take it out and take a look at it? That no, I, I think now that, no, they, they doing, they doing the best they can. It's all right. Because no. normally, we'd like people to look at things before they no, go that, away. That's all right, because I told them that they could do whatever they want to. They're after uh -huh. me. Yeah. And I'm not going to stand in their way. Can anybody give me an update on what went on? Who went through the dumpster? I did. Okay. I was looking for my purse. It's got all of my papers in it, everything. So I kept thinking, where could it be? She was angry at everybody because she felt that we didn't supervise it enough. I got very angry uh, and I got very upset. And I told them, well, if y'all don't like the way I'm doing it or whatever, just, just go home. Go home. I don't care. Just get out of my house. How did you really feel? How I do you mean, really feel about the years of her getting upset like that? You're just going to let it go because if you keep saying something, something yeah, about it, it, it makes it's her mad. It's going to keep escalating, escalating. The family needs to continue to help you. So if the family's going to continue to help you, something has to change. Teresa can no longer control people with fear. We never get a word in. I feel I never get a word in, and I'm always wrong. I felt like everybody was jumping on me. Is this called bash Teresa? No. Yes, Nobody's it bashing is. you. Bash her. Make her feel worse than what she be. This is a definite mm -hmm. knockoff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a knockoff. It's not real. A lot of these are a little too old. It's torn. Yeah, it's, it's oh, the torn. Handle, yeah. The handle's torn. Yeah. We don't need those. Most of these have numbers, and they're usually inside the purse if they are real. So this is a knockoff. I have not found a great find yet. <laughs> but we are still searching. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. I can't argue with nobody, because they don't have to take my stuff. That's not real. How can you take it? Yep. A real one not, no. will not have this on it, because they're sold inside a glass case, and they pull them out. Oh, see, that's what I thought was the real Yes, that's what, yes it is. Oh, no. Got it. Oh, I'm putting it right it's not a, it's okay. so different okay, it's showing me the It doesn't say it inside. It has to have a serial number. I know. Yep. I know. Do you have any with serial numbers? This is real. This that's is real. a real one. Mm -hmm. All right, this will bring you some cash here. Yep, definitely. No, that's not going to bring me no cash. Because she ain't going to be selling You know, no, I, ain't gonna, I ain't going to sell. This is authentic, right? We're clear on that. This is one of the authentic ones? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK. I could probably sell this in my shop for 200 250 mm -hmm. and you get half of that. $125? No. 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 I mean, I need the money. Yes. I could use it, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to just give it away because right. I don't need the money that bad. When you combine someone who has control issues, like Teresa, with the disorder of compulsive hoarding, you get somebody who can't just make a decision and let go, Right. Bottom what? line, you're gonna lose money Either from what way. you spend. Do you, you're right. gonna lose money. Yeah. Okay. That's a sad situation. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm going. 
Well, no that's more. a blow up no, down No, 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 it's not blow up, no. You have to understand that the value of these things are gonna mean nothing to you once you have cash in hand and are able to do what it is that you want to do. Teresa, this is a, Teresa, come back. I don't care, I'm not gonna do it. This is the purse that caused the meltdown last night, the one you thought that had been discarded that had all of your important papers? My debit card, my medical card. Everything. It had everything in it, everything. OK. Important papers need to be labeled important papers and put away in a safe place, OK? OK. That's why you an organizer, and I'm not. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That is cute, although it's not a brand name. No, I don't think we really have a market for that. We didn't find as many high-end purses as we'd hoped for. This is Liz Clyburn, but I don't know. Maybe. How's it Keep. We found a lot of thrift store finds. This is cute. It's Gavinci. That's real cute. That's real cute, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good one. Teresa, based on what uh, we have sold in the past and what uh, we feel like the purses might bring, mm -hmm. our consignment shop can offer you $350. That's reasonable. OK. You'll accept the $350? Yeah. OK. I'm satisfied. I mean, I'm, I am. I'm satisfied. I wasn't surprised when Teresa accepted the $350 and was comfortable with that. And I wish you the best of luck. OK, oh. thank you. She had to put everybody through a lot to get to that point because she panics like a lot of hoarders when she's not in control. She would get some kind of slip. She said she donated X number of dollars, and it may be enough that it would help on income tax purposes. But either way, I couldn't keep on living the way it was. I love it. It's great. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. Is this my house? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I've never seen this house this empty. I'm excited. I'm excited. Ugh. You can see the floor where you once couldn't. You can yeah. see the tabletops and, and the couch. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe any of it. It's amazing. And the bedroom where now Earl as your wife wanted, you can roll around on your very own bed. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm feeling fantastic. There's a lot to be done. There's still a lot left to be done. But at least I got to start. Before, it would have been impossible almost to even begin to start. I mean, it's truly a miracle. But I'm going to have to keep it like this. Yes. No more. No more. It's beautiful. Teresa is at high risk for continuing with hoarding. She is going to need intensive outpatient follow-up. She's also going to need someone to work with her in her home. We offer this. She has to take it and use it. being a fan of hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.